YouTube, YouTube, it's me in this B. As you can see by the title, I'm doing a makeup tutorial. Our channel is a diverse channel. Um, I want to add all types of different videos on our channel. So today, I'm just going to get right into it. Um, I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera and then I'll be right back. So stay tuned. Hey y'all, I'm back. So I did my brows. Um, I'm gonna show you the products I use for my brows. Um, I just use the Anastasia Dip Brow. This one's in chocolate. Um, then I use the Be Bright Illuminating Concealer and this um, Brow Definer L'Oreal Paris Pencil. Now, me, depending on what type of day or whatever, like I have a whole bunch of different pomades just cuz so this is four different ones right here they're all different colors and like I said just depending on the day what my eyebrows are gonna be but yeah so that's that I'm gonna be setting my brows with the Beverly Hills Beverly Hills Anastasia um brow gel this is in the color medium brown so I'm gonna go ahead and set those and then I'm gonna get right into my eyeshadow to set these off camera because my um gel just got like I like a very clean looking cut brow period anyway so let's get right into it all of the palettes that I'll be using today is by BH Cosmetics um I'm gonna be doing a purple look today so gonna be a little crazy I'm not shuffling around, shuffling around looking for my colors I've never done a purple look so we're kind of just diving into it so um this palette I've never used it looks crazy I know but it's just because I use it as a mirror and when my nails were long I would like scratch it up and it just looks awful but I'll be using this it's called illusion and i'm going to be using this dark purplish color first my brushes. i know i should have done this earlier but you know i'm just going with the motions This is going to be my crease color, so it'll just be right in here. So I'm going to go ahead and start. And honestly, like, eyeshadow starts off very messy. So, that's fine. You can start off messy. Because the key eyeshadow is blending yes ma'am so I just pretty much follow that shape of my eye inward as you can see up close it's like a kind of look now I'm gonna do this on the same side or do the same thing on the other side I 
as you can see like with this brush i'm doing a patting motion patting this onto my lid because if you kind of do like a brushing motion like this it's just gonna go like everywhere so you pretty much just want to work this color onto your lid make sure they're even on both sides even if they're not, it's fine because that's what we're going to do this for. Pretty much want to get these even on both sides. Boom, now it looks like I have two really messed up purple eyes. And if you see me looking this way, it's because I have a big mirror so I can see like if it's symmetrical on my face. So, yeah. Pat that and then I'm gonna really focus it right here too. Right there on that just inner part right here. Like so. So after that. I'm gonna go in with this fest or color festival palette and oops, wrong one. This one's after this one. Wrong one. So I'm going in with the BH Cosmetics Ultimate Ultimate Matte Palette. And I'm gonna take the only purple shade in here, which is this one. Dap it in, because this one's very, very pigmented. I just Tap it in, tap it off. Then I'll take this color, and this one's gonna be, sorry, I just switched my mirror, but I'm gonna use the other one because I don't wanna be blocking me, but. So I take that color, and I'm gonna work this on the outside, kind of blending this outward. So it's not like that harsh line that you just created. So what you're doing is you're just taking these two colors and blending them together. By the way, before I did this, I primed my eyelids with um, Wet n Wild um, eyeshadow primer and that's so the, the shadow won't crease and it'll stay on longer. So yeah, I'm just taking this pretty purple shade and I'm just blending this upward so that dark purple wasn't so harsh on your lid As I said before, it will be messy, but you just want to continue to blend. Take that again on the other side. As you can see, I'm going in circular motions with this color, blending upward and then patting down, pulling it in. So, make sure there's no um, harsh lines between your purples pretty much. 
So you can tell a difference automatically off the bat how blended this one is and how harsh this one is. The goal is to keep blending because you want it to look like this, like it correlates together and not like this where it's super harsh. So this side needs a lot of work with the blending parts. Continue to blend it upward. Like so. I mean, it still needs some work, but um, you get the idea. Pretty much, you just keep blending, blending, blending. softer blending brush I'm gonna take this light purple color here it's not actually my first time no never mind I did use it but yeah so this soft purple color here I'm gonna be patting this and tapping and then I'm going to kind of work this on my outer Because as you, as you can see how my purple is like, you can really tell the color transition between these purples. So I'm actually kind of upset because this purple color was kind of shimmering and I don't I like that. But I'm gonna have to use it anyway, so. I mean, it did a good job correlating and like blending everything out, but yeah, so. Going on to the other side, same thing. working this color out and up because you see how in the beginning this was very like harsh looking with this purple color the same one from that matte palette and go back in here that's a little bit better but yeah I told you guys like I literally 
I don't work with like colors like these. So this is like honestly my first, not my first time, but yeah, actually yeah, it's my first time doing purple. But one of my pet peeves when I'm doing makeup is it being hot and I'm hot. So let me turn the AC on real quick and I'll be right back. Hey y'all, so I'm back. I'm looking a little bit crazy, but it's gonna come together. So the next step that I'm gonna do is cut my crease. So I'm taking this concealer, it's a different concealer that I use to do my brows. Just wanna like get rid of this. So yeah, you wanna use a decent amount of this stuff to cut a crease. Because your goal is to not have that color, that purple color on your wing. So I'm taking this really flat angled brush. It's not angled, but really flat brush, as you can see. Put some on my wrist, and I'm going to tap this in here. So as you can see, it kind of covers the brush pretty good. Now, for my country. I can't zoom in, but I can change the lighting. I think that looks better anyway, but, so yeah. I'm gonna just go ahead and cut this crease. So, when I cut my crease, I like to start in the middle. And, yeah. From far away, it looks like it's like, up close you can tell it is anyway so I take take this I wrap it in here and I'm going to draw a line down like that after that I look up so I can get a crease of where my kind of like eyelids kind of start. So from there, I start drawing my crease. Yes, 
So I did cut crease on this side. I don't know what the issue is, but this side is never giving me issues. But at the end of the day, it'll all look the same. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do my lid. That's what my lid is. I'm just trying to see what color I want to do in my lid because I want a shimmery color, like a shimmery purple color. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do. Hopefully it looks good because who knows, but so I'm going in again with this palette. As you can see, my series right here, I'm going to go in with, let's see, let's do rave. So I'm going to go in with rave. I'm just going to take this color, pat it in here, because these are very, very pigmented like colors. So yeah. I'm going to just go ahead and sure that you get this color on only the um, on only your lid so on my phone. I'm <laughs> 
uh, the glitter, like, it'll automatically stick to the glue. So. Sorry, I'm every, I'm all over the place. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with this palette in dark purple color. You wanna take this, get a decent amount of it. I don't even pat it off at this point. I just get a decent amount of it. And I put this here on the outer corners. Just to kind of uh, really bring out the fact that you have a pretty fat crease. I want to blend this purple here. And it's that very same color that you used in the beginning. Like so. It's not blended at all, like, like whatever. So just took this. I'm literally a mess. So now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and take this same brush, go in with a light purple, and do the same thing, we just want to blend it out.
as for the lash, you just want to fix it because when that boot sets, it sets like however your lash is placed on your eye, that's how it's going to look for the rest of the day. And you know, some people's eyelashes, you know, they come lopsided, that's because they put it on and they let it dry without fixing it before your boot sets. This glue dries clear, so don't freak out. I know y'all want to dry. Why are you being white glue, my like, girl? I get that question all the time, my like, girl. It dries clear. That's a girl. So, such a rash is on. Thanks. Nice.